My aunt was an editor at Condé Nast, and she would cast myself and my sister for photo shoots when we were five and six years old. Um, and then we'd wander off to the design department. It was an environment that I automatically felt comfortable in and wanted to um, and wanted to be a part of. Thereafter, when I went to Mass Art, Massachusetts College of Art in Boston, I got a degree in graphic design there. And during that time, I went to San Francisco on a trip. So I saw that there was a vibrant design community. You know, it was perfect. I was definitely living here. It was a great transition um, because Levi's was immersed in old Western imagery. We wanted to make it seem contemporary and perhaps Western lore wasn't as meaningful to an East Coast audience. So that was um, an opportunity. Well, I never had anything more than a one-year plan, but I always wanted my own studio. I knew, I knew that from the get-go. So that was always the goal. I felt that I could actually do grander ideas, create more um, interesting design if I did it on my own. It all sort of emanated from Levi's. I mean, as marketing directors left and they went to other companies, then I would um, I would get them as clients because they enjoyed the relationship I had with them. My office was never more than about 12 people. I wish sometimes I was bigger. Um, I probably wouldn't have to be working as hard as I do. Um, at the same time, I'm a bit of a control freak, so I'm able to do you know, I'm able to do a lot, and I'm able to do a lot of different uh, disciplines within design because of that. I don't segment different mediums in my mind. I actually think of the totality of an identity, and that totality of identity needs to have all those different mediums um, used in order to tell their story. I adore design. I was um, ill for a few years, and I have to say design was what kept me going, absolutely. I think you have, you have to have that passion in your heart for what you love to do, so you can do it no matter what.